Stan Jibalisco here. Uh, I uh, have posted a couple of videos in the past few days having to do with drug addiction, prescription drug addiction, in particular opioids and benzodiazepines, although I am also, um, I have also have a history of using um, something called Zolpidem. I'm not sure how that would be classified. And it's prescription medication um, pr uh, for helping you sleep, basically. Um, you can look all of those up uh, if you care to. Uh, I also looked at a uh, website that uh, on my iPad that uh, outlined the 10 most common uh, abused prescription medication types in the United States of addiction. And wouldn't you know it, all three of those drug classifications, the opioids, the benzodiazepines, and the whatever that other one, Zolpidem, uh, also called Ativan, uh, or I don't know, something, uh, they were all on the list of the top ten. So <laughs> I'm batting 300 in the addiction department, uh, according to that website. But the good news is that I'm off of two of them. I'm off of the opioid, uh, which was, uh, it, I don't even remember the name of the bloody thing now, the chemical name of it. Um, hydromorphone. Hydromorphone, also known as Dilaudid by a trade name. That was the opioid. I'm off of that. I've been off of it long enough so that withdrawal is no longer an issue. There really wasn't much of it because I, I never dared take very much. As I said before, I already knew uh, about uh, the furor over opioids taking place right now all over the country. Uh, legislators are finally waking up to the magnitude of the problem uh, and are attempting to address it by means of legislation, making the drugs harder to get uh, by prescription, which is fine. And it's fine with me, and it's not going to matter to me any because I'm not going to get any more of those prescriptions. Uh, I, I, even if I have surgery, I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try as hard as I can to do without opioids. Uh, except maybe for three days, you know, in the hospital. Um, as for the um, sleeping pill, I'm off of that as well. I've been off of that for some time. Uh, I was taking only a half of one of those a day, and I've been, I'm off of that. So uh, I'm only batting 100, but it's a bad 100, and it's the benzodiazepine known as clonazepam. Uh, I... I think it goes under the trade name clonopin, but it's similar to uh, other drugs like diazepam, lorazepam, chlordiazepoxide, and one whose trade name is um, Xanax, X-A-N-A-X. You know, when I was undergoing alcohol treatment in 1987-1988, because I am a recovering alcoholic, grateful for my 28 years of sobriety so far, uh, I went to the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota, and the head of the Alcohol and Drug Dependency uh, Unit, as it was called then, told me, there's one benzodiazepine in particular that you can get addicted to uh, right really fast. Some people get addicted to it after taking only one dose, and that is called Xanax. So some people, some smart doctors have known about benzodiazepines and the dangers thereof for almost, well, for 30 years, pretty near. So this is not a, this is not a recent news. This is not a breaking story. People have, in the know have, have been aware of this for a long, long time. And yet, Benzodiazepines continue to be widely prescribed for anxiety uh, and just over over nervousness, uh, various things like that. And it's all too easy to get that. I'm weaning myself off of that uh, clonazepam. It, 
it uh, is very hard to get off of benzodiazepines, much harder than uh, opioids or uh, the sleeping medications. It, it's hard because it takes a long time. The withdrawal symptoms can go on for months. So it, uh, I told my doctor at the beginning of 19, or uh, 2017 that I wanted off that stuff by the end of the year. So I'm halfway there. Uh, and dose-wise, I'm halfway, just about halfway there. If you go by a logarithmic decrement, I'm right about on that logarithmic decrement to get off of the stuff by New Year's Eve. Um, drinking on top of benzodiazepines, they say it's not recommended. Uh, I w want to warn everybody out there right now, that's, uh, that caused me to have a medical catastrophe in 1987 involving a seizure and a coma and practically the loss of my right arm. That's another story, and I'm not sure I'm going to go into that and burden you with my uh, various drugologues too much longer. But if you're taking any kind of medication like that, opioid, benzodiazepine, if you drink anything at all alcoholic on top of those, you are playing uh, American roulette with your life. And that's even worse than Russian roulette. Even Vladimir Putin will admit that. <laughs> so do not drink if you're taking any of that stuff. Um, I, I speak as a veteran. I, am, I know how to get off of, of uh, these addictive drugs. I've done it a hundred times. Stan Jubilisco signing off. Wishing you... All the best in your life, especially, uh, well, whether you have a drug addiction problem or not. Just God bless you all, and so long until next time.